Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kate. Welcome to my channel and if you are not new, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a full review on my Peloton as you can see behind me. I've had the bike for this weekend, it'll be three weeks and I've had the app for like two and a half months. Yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. I ordered mine way back in November. I got an email from them actually the morning of when it was supposed to get delivered saying that they weren't going to be able to make it because there was a snowstorm that day and i was so aggravated like i was so upset because i was waiting so long to finally get it it was a really sad day for me but just because i was so excited to get it and it's such a long wait and it even says on their website that the delivery dates are just so pushed back because clearly ever since covid happened everybody is looking into buying a peloton just because it's easy and convenient now, obviously not a lot of people are comfortable going back to the gyms mine came on january 23rd it was such an exciting day for me the people who delivered delivered it were so nice. They took really good precautions of COVID. They actually set it up outside and then just brought it in the house so there's less exposure. I was just so excited just to get on the bike. Oh my god, you have no idea. Like it's so exciting and fun. I took a soul cycle class actually a year ago with my friend Phoebe and it was just so much fun. And it was my only soul cycle class I ever took. And oh my god, there's people walking by my window. What do I do? Yeah, it was just really fun and that was like the only soul cycle class I ever took because one, it's really expensive and two, they're really far away from, not really far away, but just like an inconvenient spot. Like most of them are in Boston. There's one that's like 30 minutes away, but again, it's just like kind of a hike to get there and it's expensive. I just like never ended up going again. Then I was just reading so many articles about Peloton and I've just, came across so many ads like there were so many ads about the bike and I was like oh my god I looked into it and I was just like you know what I am gonna buy one of these because I've just always wanted to get into spin everything about it is just really fun I just wanted to have something that I could get into and like because I never used to be the type of person to work out like I would do little workouts that were meaningless here and there on YouTube and I would just think that they were effective even though I knew in the back of my mind like this probably isn't effective. I was just doing a bunch of research on Peloton and so I bought the app first, I think. I think I got the app first, but I wasn't really using it. And then I was looking at the bike and I was like, should I do it? Should I not do it? And then I was just like, I just did it. And I'm so, so happy I did it because that was probably one of the best decisions of my life this is just like a huge lifestyle for me right now and i just i feel like i feel so annoying because there's so many memes about peloton and like how it's a lifestyle and everything but that's how it truly feels and i feel like i'm such a part of this big community and it just feels so nice to actually have something that i enjoy doing i just feel so much happier about myself because i started doing the app religiously a month ago because there was a challenge and it was workout every single day before the month of january and i feel like if i hadn't done that challenge i would not be where i am right now i finally have created a habit i've stuck to it and i've been working out every single day and obviously you don't have to work out every single day but for like the habit part of it i needed that push to get me to a place where i didn't even have to think about working out and i actually enjoyed it because i never liked working out i never liked going to the gym i don't know i just feel weird there because I have no idea what the hell I'm doing. I feel like everybody's watching me and judging me and I know I should probably just get over that fear but I don't like going to the gym in general. Ever since I've gotten this app I feel so good about myself. I actually see results and I think that's one thing why I never stuck to doing anything because I never saw results. I had no idea what I was doing. I feel like ever since I had the app it's almost like having a personal trainer right in front of you like a virtual personal trainer telling you what to do and it's actually really motivating for me and some people might think otherwise because they're not actually there and they're not gonna do anything if you like stop the workout or whatever the things that they say during the workouts and everything like personally i love jess sims she is my favorite person to do strength workouts with and my favorite bike rider is ali love i love her so those are my two favorites like whenever i do a class i usually take Allie's. whenever i'm doing a strength work 
why can't I talk? Oh my god. Whenever I do my strength workouts, I usually do just Sims. So those are my two favorites. If you have just started out with the Peloton app and you're looking for a good instructor, I mean, they're all good, but those are my two favorites if you're looking for one. That is like my little story behind it. I'm just so glad that I finally found something that works for me. Like I look forward to working out. I never would have thought in a million years that I would say anything like that. That is my little story. So now I'm going to get into the bike. When you order the bike, it's probably going to be a little bit of a wait. And I know it's so frustrating, but it's worth the wait. But I had a snowstorm where I lived on the day that it was supposed to be delivered. So they obviously couldn't deliver it because it comes from New York or New Jersey or wherever the warehouse is that is closest to me. January 23rd was when it got delivered. Right after they left, I went on it. I was like, I can't wait any longer. Like I need to do this. Oh my gosh. I was having the most difficult time clipping in and clipping out. I was watching like so many videos beforehand, like how to clip in, how to clip out. So I was ready, but I feel like watching a video is not the same as actually doing it because it took me like four times to get the hang of it. So obviously the pricing of this bike is really expensive. It's not cheap. I would say that it's worth it if you are going to be using it like religiously. And even if you have like other family members in your household that want to use it, I think it's really good because I never thought that my mom was going to go on it all the time and she goes on it like every single day and she loves it. I think it's a good investment in that case. Just having something to do that is, there's a fly in my face. Okay. This was like a investment in myself almost rather than like a luxury item to have you know it's benefiting me it's not just like sitting in my room and it's actually doing something and i look forward to it every single day and the fact that i can just do it right in the comfort of my home Oh my goodness, if you're saying, is it worth it? My answer is that it is definitely worth it if you are going to be consistent with it and definitely if you have other people that are going to be using it and it's, I think it's a really good investment for those reasons. If you're not gonna use it, and it's just kind of like a once in a while thing. I wouldn't say that it's worth it because of the pricing. You really wanna get your money's worth out of it, obviously. I have like completely changed my lifestyle with fitness. It's completely changed because of this app. I'm so happy that I did this for myself. I think my mom's really happy too. If you have other people that would like to use it with you, you could also split the price. You can also pay it in increments with like no interest, which is honestly so dope. So I'm gonna show you how to clip in right now because this was the most difficult thing for me and clipping out. I just couldn't figure it out for the longest time. It was so frustrating. I felt like an idiot. I was like, how the hell do you get out of and in this thing? Like it was just so annoying. I'm just gonna get in and you wanna start with your dominant leg. So I'm just gonna put my right foot in. You wanna get this part in that little crevice right there, if you can see. What you're gonna do is put it in there and push down until you hear it click like that. And then it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, so don't worry if you don't get it on your first try because it is gonna get annoying, but you will get it eventually, I promise, because I had the most difficult time, but I finally got it. So then I'm just gonna do my left foot, and this one I have trouble with. I push down like that, but it doesn't click, so I usually have to like stand up and it'll go in that is how you clip in now i'm going to show you guys how to clip out because this was the most difficult part for me i literally would take my shoes off and just leave them in the clip because i couldn't get out what you're going to do this is the trick you need to stand up and not sit down because that's what i was doing wrong grab the handlebars take whatever leg is up like this and just twist it in and then you're gonna do the same thing with this foot. Instead, you're gonna point your foot this way and do it really quickly. And that is how you get out. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this helped you clipping in and clipping out and everything like that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.